I know what it feels like to have nothing, all right? And I had to rebuild my life over with 6700 a month. Marquise, I know you feel like that ain't a lot of money, but it's a lot of people here watching right now. If I told you right now, right, you got to start your life over right now with 6700 a month and rebuild your life. Yes. Can you do it? With 6700 I guess. You, you with have 6, nothing. 6700 yes, I can. I'm from the... You I'm from Eden, I'm 6, I'm good. That's what I'm I've tried to put myself in Marquise's shoes. Just as he doesn't know what it's like to grow up under the circumstances I did, I don't know what it was like to grow up as the son of 50 Cent. Being in the spotlight his whole life, 50 Cent has learned how to deal with the external pressure from the world. He's one of the few hip hop artists who aren't afraid to speak their minds out, even if it involves his private life. Marquise and his father 50 Cent haven't seen eye to eye for a long time now. This issue has people divided. Some blame Marquise's mother for using her son against his father. Others balk at 50 for not rising above the differences and fighting for his son, while some, including 50 Cent, put much of the blame on Marquise. He's old enough now to make his own decisions. We can't continue to blame his mother for his awful actions, especially towards his father. 50 Cent has tried his level best to fix things, but Marquise's silliness coupled with his mother's selfishness have thrown 50 Cent's efforts into a pit of hell. And to those saying 50 Cent shouldn't hate his son, well, things are normally easy from a distance. Listen to 50 Cent talk, maybe then y'all will understand his pain. He's been given every advantage in the world, far beyond most kids born in the ghetto, but he still feels like he's been somehow cheated or robbed by me. It's a scenario I never imagined I'd find myself in with my firstborn child. But here we are. Entitlement creates resentment. There have been a lot of disappointing moments in my relationship with Marquise over the past few years. But the lowest was when I saw him post a picture of himself with Kyle McGriff, the son of Kenneth Supreme McGriff, and the man the authorities believe was behind the attempt on my life. So by posing with his son, Marquise was basically co-signing an individual who might have tried to have his father killed. I had known Marquise resented me for a while, but I never imagined he would hate me so much that he'd allow himself to be used as a prop by my enemy. I spent a lot of time searching my soul, trying to understand what can make a son forsake his father like that. I've tried to put myself in Marquise's shoes. Just as he doesn't know what it's like to grow up under the circumstances I did, I don't know what it was like to grow up as the son of 50 Cent. Certainly on the surface, he had everything he wanted. But there must have been pressures and insecurities from being my son that I can't identify with. I accept that. I still can't see how those pressures and insecurities would force a child to go against his own father, especially a father who has provided everything for him. As I go over our relationship in my mind, the only answer that I can come up with is that I actually might have done too much for Marquis. 